Hello Titans and welcome to the Titan Sign basic course. In this video, we will cover some of the main features and most commonly used capabilities of Titan Sign. Titan Sign allows you to create signature templates using Microsoft Word and the Form Titan Word add-in. You can use this tool to create sign projects for a single signer, for multiple signers, or for a dynamic number of signers. You can pull information from Salesforce into the template and also update information in Salesforce throughout the signing process. You can also generate and store the final signed document in the file section in Salesforce. Let's go ahead and look in my Salesforce developer environment. From within Salesforce, you can generate a Titan signed project in a variety of ways. One, by clicking the FT Generate Document button that comes as part of Titan's managed package or also through various Salesforce automation means, such as a flow. In my dev environment, I have a sample project set up on the opportunity object. Remember that Titan supports any standard or custom object in Salesforce, so you can generate signed projects from anywhere within Salesforce that you want. Let's take a look, Let's take a look at the FT Generate Document button. When I click this button, a window opens, and I'm shown a list of Titan document and Titan sign projects that are available for use by this logged in user on the object in question, in this case, the opportunity. So we have two Titan projects, one called Other Status and the other called Sign a Quote, which was the example that we just saw in Microsoft Word. These are the projects that are available for the opportunity for this user and that also meet any filter criteria that we've set on the project itself. For example, I have configured the sign a quote projects to only be available when the opportunity is in the proposal or price quote stage. So let's say it's in the perception analysis stage. If we look at FT generate document, we won't see that project available. That way you can restrict when certain templates can be used using information that's on the record. In our sample project, we have a signature process set up for individuals on two contact roles, a decision maker and an evaluator. Let's take a look at how this works. So if I go to FT Generate Document, I have a number of options here. I can use this View button to preview the document and maybe even make changes to it before we send it. The Sign button will simply kick off the signature process. And in the submenu, we have some other options as well, such as Download, View, or Sign and Send. Let's go ahead and initiate the sign process. The process kicks off. Once the request has been submitted, that document will be sent out for signature to the two individuals who need to sign. Let's check my email. I just got an email requesting that I sign a Form Titan document. This is for Adam Briggs, the first person in the signature process. An email will, will arrive like this. You can customize the email itself. Let's go ahead and click the link to sign. Here we are given a security check. That's because I've configured two-factor authentication on this signature document. You don't have to do this, but it is another means of adding a little bit of additional security. This 2FA is done through the email, which came to here. User enters their email, and they will be given two-factor authentication code. Use that code to sign in. You can see in this document, we've pulled in information from Salesforce, We've got some address information, some contact phone information. We have a list of products being purchased with the price showing and the two signers, Adam Briggs, who's viewing the document right now, and Andrew Nerney to be signed later. I'll go ahead and click sign. We'll sign for Adam. And when we finish signing the document, the document is then sent to the next person. So I've now got for Andrew Nerney, the second signer on that document, again, got a signature request. Go ahead and copy this email for the two-factor authentication. Second signer goes to sign. Enter the 2FA code. You can see this document has already been signed by Adam. The second person will now sign. And when we finish signing, those are the two signers. The process is now complete. All participants will receive an email notification that the signing process was completed. It will contain the attached signed document. And if I go back into Salesforce, and refresh, I should see that signed document in the notes and attachment section or the file section of my opportunity record. So I've got the signed contract attached in Salesforce, and we also have a signature tracking log attached. And we also have a signature tracking log attached in Salesforce. You can also initiate a sign request using Salesforce's various automation tools, for example, a flow. Let's go ahead and take a look at a flow that we created 
generate this signature request. We've created a flow called send quote for signing with Titan. We've made this a record triggered flow. It could be any kind of flow. And we set this to fire when the lead source is equal to web and the lead source has been changed. You can, of course, put whatever conditions that you want. You will want to invoke an Apex action called form builder FT doc gen. Again, this comes in the form Titan managed package. You will include in this action API key, a form hash, and the record ID of the object from which you wish to initiate the sign. The API key and the form hash you can get from within the Titan sign document builder. We'll go over how to get that information in later courses. So let's take a look at that flow. I'll go back into my sales app. And if we change the lead source to web, that flow will execute and the Titan sign project will kick off. And I should shortly get an email. As you can see, we've gotten a new request to sign a document and the process has initiated again. This covers the basics of Titan sign. The more advanced topics will be covered in forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching.